On October 12th, Love It Live will host the inaugural Songwriters Series featuring Burns and Poe as well as Karen Staley. I spoke with Keith Burns himself as well as Patty Donahoe who is helping coordinate the event. Hey Patty, welcome to Roundabout You. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you for asking me. Now, I know that the Songwriter Series is coming up at Murray State University, and I know you've helped to organize this and pull it together. Is this your first one, or is this something that you do all the time? No, it's actually something I do all the time. Um, I, it's, a, it's a first time I've done one at a university for students. Um, I, I really love to create events with the potential to be great for, you know, all parties, so... Um, I thought it would be great for you guys. Right. And why do you feel that the Songwriter Series is important to anybody in the public? Um, well, I think it's important to remind everyone that it all begins with a song. Mm -hmm. um, music's art without the talent and creativity of the songwriters. There would be no music, and without music, there would be no music business. Right. And, you know, I know that you have done these in, a past, in the past, so how do you think that it affects students, uh, since, you know, you are coming to Murray State? So what do you think the importance of this is for students? Um, well, I think that, I, I just think it's, it's um, important that students learn the other side of, um, of music, because I know your students have, some of your students um, have, uh, the music business program mm -hmm. that you started, but they don't have a songwriters program or um, or publishing or, or whatever. So right. um, I, I think they'll they'll get to some some great education. Well, and I guess that brings me to my next question of why Murray. You know, you go to places in Tennessee. So what made you want to come to Murray? Well, I'm a member of NATV, as you know, and um, have been watching the development of the College of Knowledge. Mm -hmm program with Murray State, it just seemed like a perfect fit for the students at, at Murray. Um, there is much greater access for Tennessee students, especially in Nashville, to have, um, you know, to be exposed to, to music business education mm -hmm. and, and music education, so. Awesome. And now, <laughs> and now, who all do you have coming on the night of? Um, on October 12th, which is our first night, uh, we have Karen Staley. Karen has a string of hit songs recorded by some of country music's biggest stars, Faith Hill, Faith Hill Reba, Terry Clark, Dolly Parton, George Jones, and, and many, many more. Um, then Keith Burns. Keith was a founding member of the band Trick Pony and is now um, a member of the country duo Burns and Poe. Keith's a prol prolific songwriter who's had hits recorded not only by Trick Pony, Burns and Poe, but also Joe Diffie, Hootie and the Blowfish, Sammy Kershaw, etc., etc. And Michelle Poe is the third writer. Michelle is Keith's singing partner, sometimes his songwriting partner. And before she um, was performing as Burns and Poe, Michelle was a bass player and uh, backup vocalist for Dirk Bentley and Hank Williams Jr. And she also had a, a record deal on DreamWorks. Well, that's exciting. And it sounds like we've got a good group of people coming. And I know the students are all looking forward to it. Wonderful. I think they'll, uh, I think they'll love it. Well, thank you, Patty, for being on the show. And we look forward to seeing you on the Songwriter Series evening. Thank you. Thank you for being on Roundabout You. How are you? I'm fantastic. How are you? I'm doing great. Now, I know you're coming in on the 12th. Talk a little bit about why you're coming to Murray, not necessarily what you're going to be doing, but the reason behind why you're coming. I don't know. Just to, you know, uh, come in there and perform and spread uh, some awareness about songwriting. And, and uh, I'm sure people from the community and around that area and students have a lot of questions about, you know, not just the, uh, what goes into the songwriting, but the business end of it also, you know, and uh, yeah, you know, just come in there and, and and showcase a little talent and, and make people aware. Well, we're looking forward to it, and I know our music business students are definitely looking forward to it. So what can we expect while you're here? Well, you know, we, we'll get on stage. Uh, it's going to be myself and my partner, uh, Michelle Poe. Not my partner partner, my <laughs> business partner. She's uh, she's too old for me. Anyway. No, <laughs> but course. and. Karen Staley, who has written songs for Faith Hill and Tracy Bird and all, I mean, just big hits. Uh, so 
we'll, we'll come in, we'll do some songs, and we'll, we'll kind of be in the round, the three of us, and we'll play, you know, for, for probably an hour, hour and a half, and, and then um, and then we'll take some questions from people, and because I'm sure they're, that they're going to be wanting to know about the business end of it. So uh, it should be a lot of fun. Well, I know that everybody is looking forward to it, but... You know, with the students asking questions, what do you hope they leave with? What What do you hope that you can send with these people? Oh, just more knowledge. You, you know, anybody that's uh, anybody that's interested in coming to Nashville or being a songwriter or getting in the songwriter business, whether it be the publishing end of it uh, uh, um, or the promotion end of it, you just you know, leave them with that and let them know. And probably, hopefully, they'll get excited about it because it it, it is a great business. Uh, but it is a business. It's not, you know, you can't, I know so many people that write songs and and their songs are just sitting in their drawer doing nothing. So uh, hopefully they can, if there's songwriters out there and there's students or people that want to that wanna be songwriters, hopefully they'll learn exactly what they need to do to come to Nashville and, and write the next big hit. Well, I'm sure you'll be able to help them out with that. And we actually have two local girls that will be singing um, kind of opening up your all show that night, so hopefully you all will get a chance to watch them as well. Oh, really? Well, who are they? Um, one of them is Otto Sharp, and her band is called The Savage Radley, and the other one will be Melissa Crespo. And they are going to do an acoustic, two acoustic different numbers. Okay, and, and they're going to go on before us? I think they're going to come on right before you all to kind of open up. Um, Fantastic. Do a, you know, a quick little something, and I think they're hoping for you all to be able to see them as well, so. Well, absolutely, and any advice, uh, any advice they need, I'm, uh, you know, between Karen Staley and and myself, we should be able to, we should be able to, you know, let them know. Well, we're really looking forward to it, and I can't wait for you all to get here. Well, I'm, is is yesterday too fast? Let's go. <laughs> no, come on. <laughs> it's October October twelfth, right? Yes, it is. Well, we look forward to it, and uh, we're going to be there with bells on, and can't wait, can't awesome. wait to perform. Awesome. Well, thank you for being on our show. Thank you. Thank